Hello everybody, welcome back to Terry's Thrifty Finds. I appreciate you stopping by and watching another one of my videos. Uh, before you leave watching this video or on your way out, make sure you hit like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification button so you'll be notified when I upload another uh, video. I do apologize, uh, first of all, for the last video. Um, I'm not used to walking around and doing that live video. Not live video, but you know what I mean, walking around. Um, but I will have those other pictures. The only thing that I didn't show you was my bathroom um, and how I did a little fall decor in there. So check me out. Follow me on Instagram. You'll be able to see those pictures. So um, this is Dollar Tree Hall. This is Dollar Tree Friday. Thursdays is when my Dollar Tree has their trucks come in. Um, and I did go in uh, to two Dollar Trees. I went into the one here in Brownsburg. Um, I do live in the state of Indiana, and I also went to the one out in Avon because I had a doctor's appointment. So we'll start out with the food. Now, I'm hoping that my husband tries this milk. It's actually, you can put this as, in your pantry uh, as a backup, but I didn't feel like going over to Aldi. I'd already done grocery shopping at Walmart, so I didn't want to go back. Um, Aldi's like right next to the Dollar Tree in Avon. Um, so this is good till August of 2021, but he does need, he doesn't drink milk per se, but he has it on his cereal. So I picked up that for him. Um, another food item I like, I have one over there too. And I just picked up another one is the, uh, Sam Pellegrinos. I love these. They have the, um, blood orange, regular orange, and I think they have lemon Possibly a lime, but this is a great sparkling soda. Uh, this is great. My husband likes this, and I do too for our lunches. I just picked up a couple of cans of the Bumblebee. This isn't the solid white, but it says chunk white tuna in the water, which is healthier and tastes better as far as I'm concerned. So I picked up those. And I also saw this, and we, we were out... This is nice to have a for your, um, we can use pretzels, but we use it for like apple slices. And if you haven't purchased this before, I'm just gonna show you what they look like. I can open up the box the right way. Let's see. That's okay. It's okay, because we're gonna be using them. But there's three and they are individually wrapped, which is great. You just throw it in there and when you're done, throw it away. So hard to like scoop some of this into a container and then you have that whole thing about cleaning it out. So those are really good to try. Now I did try uh, one of these uh, cups of coffee and I'll show you the ones I got. I was very impressed. Um, I needed more K-cups for my Keurig. But I've seen different ones haul these, and I tried it. This is the uh, Donut Cafe Copper Moon Coffee, and I got the medium roast. So that one, I really, I liked it. I was very impressed with it. And so this is the, oh, they come, okay. And then we have the French Vanilla okay and so i'm going to try that not tonight maybe tomorrow morning this is rich and creamy um and these are a little bit different they are in which is nice to put say if you do have an office and you're serving coffee and you don't want transfer any germs or anything um these come individually wrapped and then the pod is like i'm not going to open it now but it's like um it's a little bit different it's like one of those refillable ones. So it's not the plastic. This is like almost like the hard plastic. So yeah, definitely I'm I'm excited to try this one to see how it tastes. Um, I mean, this is different brand. This is the uh, Grind Worthy. And this is, just so you can see it again, the Copper Moon Coffee. They did have a bold flavor as well, but I... I like medium or light roast, so. And I had to pick up another one of these, uh, Fig Newtons, they still had them in the store, so I picked up another one of those. So that's um, the, you know, basic food items for the pantry, for our lunches. Now I will get into, show you the snacks that I picked up. 
Um, I don't need to show you this, but I'm going to. I love these chips and I get them from my husband. So I picked up a couple of bags because he forgets to take them to work. So I've been eating them. I love this for a snack, the Gator Taters, and they're really good. So I got a couple bags. Um, and a couple of new snack items that I have not seen before. So I might do a taste test um, with my husband tomorrow if I can talk him into it. Um, but these are the Russell Stover. Um, this is the marshmallow and caramel. So I've had the regular caramel and I've had like the coconut, but I don't think I've tried this one. So this was new. I've never tried it. It may not be new, but I just didn't see it. Um, someone else hauled these and said they were really good. I couldn't find the other scrumptious cookies. Um, they had the chocolate and peanut butter, but I really didn't want that one. I was on the lookout for the mint. I think it's a mint one, a chocolate mint one. Um, but these are the scrumptious puff pastries. You get 6.8 ounces and with strawberry family, which is artificial, not real strawberries. But anyway, it's, that'd be a nice little treat with, say, afternoon cup of coffee. This is a, this they've had before, and I almost didn't get it, but it's nice to have in the candy jar. Um, these are, the, I don't usually get card candies, but this is only through the holidays. It's the Lifesavers um, holiday mix. This is a cherry, apple, and peppermint. So I don't remember, I thought they had like, cherry and like oh, strawberry but I never knew that they'd mix the peppermint together so that was kind of neat and it must be that the peppermint is red well you know what let's open up and see and I'll just show you I'll grab a handful because the red ones just look cherry so I don't know Oh, okay. I gotcha. Okay, so these these must be the cherry ones. They're a little bit darker. And this must be the peppermint. And then um, the green ones, which is, I did say that right, green apple? Yeah, apple. Okay, so the peppermint probably is the red one. Okay. And some other candies. Um, I saw someone call these. Yes, that's Pekka's in the background. Um, the Tasian Chili and Lime Peach Rings. Now, when we lived in California, we used to get the tamarind lollipops. And if you have ever been to a Mexican store or been to Mexico, those are amazing. Um, and they have the chili on them. And your mouth gets sore and you just keep eating it because it's so good. Because there's sweetness underneath the, the tamarind that it gets Cool. So, thought I'd try these peach rings because I do love peach rings, but that little uh, tahine spice on it, we'll see. Also, Haribo, you can't go wrong. I mean, I don't think there's any one candy I don't like. Um, I think it's the Coke bottles I don't care for. It kind of has a funny taste or anything great. But these are the watermelons, so I decided to try those. Um, my husband, we were talking about the other day that... He, he used to get, his mom used to once in a while get the mother's cookies. They're shaped like little animals. <laughs> well, they have them. So this is going to go for his snack for next week. And it's so cute. If your kids have not had these, it's fun to give give it to them. Um, if you grew up on these, uh, they used to come in a big bag. Now, I don't know if they still have them in the store. They might. But I saw those, the circus animals, the original circus animal cookies. So thought that was cute. Just a little bag. And I love these. Now, this looks like a different packaging. And I don't remember it being that brand. I want to say it was the... It with a P. The candy that they have quite a bit of. But this is the Old Fashioned Peppermint Bark. And I love this. It used to be... Remember, it used to be like in a flat, almost like a candy bar, regular candy bar shape. Um, but this was different, so I just picked up one to try. So let me get all these goodies put away, and we'll move on to regular household items. Just 
household things that I needed to pick up. Um, repeat purchase. Um, this is a bonus pack. You get 14 bags um, instead of the 12. So if you get the vanilla, you only get 12. So, but I just picked up these. Um, we need to replace our shower curtain. It's torn, and so I don't like to spend a lot. We just have a nice, you know, on the outside we have a nice fabric one. So I just picked up this shower curtain liner. And uh, let's see here. And this is actually, I'm just going to throw this in here with my groceries at Walmart. I just picked up these plates. This is not from Dollar Tree, but they near the, um, they had like a, just a center um, crate, you know, crate, a pallet full of all Thanksgiving and those kind of things. Um, but I thought I have plenty of plates, but I love this just for dessert. Pass the pie. And they had a lot of this uh, buffalo check design and bigger plates, you know, dinner plates and napkins and so forth. But I just picked up this one because I thought it was cute. So this is this is from Walmart. Okay, moving back to um, Dollar Tree. So these are what you call health and beauty. Um, I wanted to pick up another package of makeup removers. This is orange blossom and lavender. And wow, I've got I have a thing for lavender lately. Um, versus rose. I don't like a rose like scent. But this is the lavender. It's very soothing. It's very relaxing scent. So um, you get 32 in here. So some of the other wipes you only get 30. So I thought this was a good deal. Um, and then I wanted to try this Botanico Eye Compresses. And it's by for cheese. Now look at this. It has like electronic thing on the bottom. I wonder if it came from Ulta or one of the, you know, Target maybe. Um, so it's supposed to under your eyes for puffiness. So that's good. It comes sealed. So I'm going to try that tonight. It's supposed to seal your, I do have dark, dark circles under my, excuse me. And it's probably because I'm not getting enough sleep. <laughs> so, but I decided to try that. Hey, for a dollar. Um, let's see. Does it tell you how many is in there? Moisturizing eye compresses. Um, he'll hear for more information. It doesn't say how many ounces or anything on here, but so we'll give it a try. Um, then this is the only, like I haven't, I, there's only maybe two or three Dollar Trees that I go to. I don't venture to any too many unless I'm out in the area with my husband. Um, but this is the only flower thing I found. Now I have um, her foundation. It's like a stick where you, it's a corrector on one end and the foundation on the other and you just kind of rub it over and then you use your sponge to blend in. But this is the only thing I can find in flowers. So this is by Drew Barrymore, if you don't know. Um, and I love this color. It's a pretty turquoise. It's more of a spring color, but I thought I'll put it with my stash, the rest of them. And this is going to be not to use. I use body wash soap. But I found these. Everyone's been looking for them. I picked up two of the pumpkin, what do they call it, pumpkin cream? Yeah, pumpkin cream and cinnamon. I'm not going to use this again for soap. This is going to be just like a decor piece in my guest bath. Um, so that'll be, show up on my Instagram picture when I post that. And it's just going to sit in my, you'll see, it's going to be in the basket. This is something new I have not seen before. The other scent was eucalyptus, e eucalyptus um, or... I don't remember. It was a blue bottle, but I wasn't really thrilled. I'm sorry. I don't remember the scent, to be honest with you. But it is lavender, this one. It's lavender scented shea butter hand cream. And it's nice to, like, throw in your purse. And the packaging is everything. Let's just try a little bit. Mm, that's nice. That's nice. It's a nice scent. 
Um, I like other scents better, like vanilla or, I don't know. Vanilla is my favorite scent. I like for lotions and stuff. But I thought the packaging is beautiful. So you do see these. What a great like little gift basket you could put that in. So, okay. Uh, let's move to stationery. Um, I picked up some things there and stickers. I picked up, because I'm doing a lot of uh, a special project at home. So I got some envelopes. Can't go wrong. You get 30 of these for a dollar. And I still think it's a better price than going to, say, to Walmart. Um, the reason I like these, though, I think uh, Walmart had them in a, like, you buy them in a larger package. But they didn't have these. I like these where you don't have to lick them. Then you just peel it off and stick it. So that's the reason I got these. And so I, I keep running out, so I decided, you know what, I'm going to get uh, two boxes so that I don't run out of these. You know, so I got two of those. And then uh, for thank you cards, I thought these are neat. They're blank inside, and I've passed these many times, but I thought that was so sweet with the typewriter and the kind of metallic uh, heart. So um, can't go wrong from Hallmark. These are six cards, so, and the envelopes. Um, stickers, I picked up, a, mm, yes, I did. I picked a couple, a couple more stickers. I hope I don't have this in my stash, but I love pineapples, so I picked up these. I love this one here, here too. That one, let's just say, yes, yeah, sweet. Oh, be sweet on the inside and be sweet and wear a crown. Um, if you're a Dollar Tree regular shopper like me, they've used this theme in like notebooks, um, even like the magnetic little you know, tear off sheets or notebooks, not notebooks, you know what I mean? Notepad that you put on the fridge. They've used the same design on that. And uh, this one too, I hope I don't have it, but again, this is for my daughter's or even my scrapbook. I love the luggage and the airplane. Um, this pro, I'll definitely use this in one of my daughter's spreads because this is, she has a, a Polaroid camera. So yeah, I'm, I picked up those stickers. And now we're going to move to, I guess you call it, it's a mixture of things, uh, some little toys, um, something for the dog, and like one decor piece. We're almost done. So I want to use this in, um, in a DIY, I'm not sure, but these I've seen, now mind you, I kept looking in, because I saw a bit Christmas, so I was looking in the Christmas aisle for these, but these are the little miniature pine cones. These are the ones that kind of have like a dusting of snow. So I'm gonna use this in a DIY project later. Um, but what I was looking for was, and I, comment down below, was it in the fall decor section or was it in the Christmas section? But it was the scented brooms that smell like cinnamon can't find them so that's what I'm on the lookout for I don't need it but I want it I don't need it um also I picked up this again for DIY projects it's snow spray so you can take and spray like um your windows I guess I'm not going to use it for that I'm going to use it for a day for roads to make fake snow so um that's pretty good just you know it's a you're not gonna use it, you know, for a major project, so maybe just a small project. It says, perfect for applying a uh, frosted and snowy appearance. Um, it says, Christmas trees, various decorations, wreaths, glass surfaces. So, I'm gonna be using a glass surface on a DIY project. Not my windows, but on something else. Uh, let's see here. And let's go here. This is for the dog. This is for Pekka's. <laughs> they had three different colors. They had a more red background, uh, this plaid. 
And then they ha also had, um, this one has a little bit more of the gray. And there was another one where the stripe wasn't so much red. It was almost like a pinkish color. I guess it's coming off pink on the camera. But we'll see. And it has um, not sewn very good, but a Velcro enclosure uh, closure on it. So we'll see if that's going to fit. She... She has a very, <laughs> sounds funny, she has a large chest, but she has a smaller neck. She's a medium-sized dog. She, you probably saw it in the last video. She's not a very big dog. Um, I got this not for the Christmas, but I love the scent. Um, this is a festive pine, really cute uh, lid, and this is the, the rose collection. So funny, rose collection, but it's Christmas. But um, again, you can peel this off, this label, reuse it for something else. But I just, I just got it because I love the scent. It almost, it doesn't really smell, to be honest with you, it doesn't smell like pine. It smells more like kind of a mixture of peppermint to me. Like not true peppermint, but like a minty peppermint, I guess. That doesn't sound like it, does it? Okay, moving on. I got one... No, two little things to go in my daughter's Barbie box. No, she's 22, but these are things that I'm saving. Um, and I, if you've watched my previous hauls, I've gotten clothing from her um, Dollar Tree. Those things run about, you know, five to seven bucks, any of those packages of clothing. I used to get those things all the time for her. We actually used to go to Goodwill. Um, and in Canada, it was called um, Value Village, and we would get like a bag for three bucks and it had full of Barbie clothes. So I, you know, for her to get brand new things, it was pricey. So this is to go for her little girl that plays with her old Barbie. So, you know, these get lost all the time and <laughs> the shoes. <laughs> so I picked these up. That's cute little boots and there's three pairs of high heels. And then um, this to go, they had the kitty and they had the bunny, but I just picked up the little puppy with the bone. That's so adorable. So that's going to go in her little Barbie box. And I think we have one more thing, and this is it. So in our previous hauls, well, my previous video, my husband and I did a science project. Um, here's another one. This is called Rocket Blast. And I believe it's still that same brand name. Um, so let's open it up and see what's going on with this. And we'll do this on a separate video. Uh, yeah, should have brought my scissors, but you know. Okay. Okay, so it comes with this container. Like one of those, one of those, it looks like one of those film canisters, remember? When people used to have film. <laughs> so there's that. And then comes with this powder here. I don't know what this is. And let's see what else. And here's the instructions. I don't know. Rocket Blast Film Canister Rocket. Yeah, it is. It's a film canister. Okay. Well, let me just show you this. We're not going to do it right now. But just to kind of give you the instructions on how you put it together here. And so we're going to... So we'll film it. We'll, we'll see if this thing works and whether or not I know it's only a dollar But hey, you know how it is when you go through the store and the kids are like I want this I want that so By watching this video you visit video when it comes out you'll decide whether or not you want to spend that dollar <laughs> But don't get me wrong. I love Dollar Tree and you save a lot of money and That's the end of my video, but before I leave I wanted to say sharing means saving so make sure that you share this video and don't forget to like this video and subscribe and hit the bell button on the way out thanks so much for stopping by and we'll see you in the next video